Hi everyone, JJIR here, and I just wanted to give you guys a quick video in relationship to using Linux on a Chromebook. In version 69, you are now able to add Linux to your Chromebook, and it's pretty simple. You'll, all you have to do is open up your settings here, and again, you have to go into uh, About Chrome OS just to make sure that you're using 69. If you're not on 69, it's simply not going to work. But once you're in 69, then you're all, you're all set to go. And then here, not, you, all you have to do is put in uh, Linux afterwards, and Linux is going to pop out for you. You know, say run Linux tools, editors, and IDEs on your Chromebook, and you turn this guy on. Now, this does take time. It's not something that takes a couple seconds. And this will take away about 1.5 gigabytes of space, just the essential installation for Linux. So keep that in mind that if you are um, having a problems with uh, the amount of space you have on your Chromebook, this may not be a viable option to you until you are able to free up space on the Chromebook and then you can install this because first you have to install the Linux terminal or the VM instance because in this case what's happening is that Google is allowing you to install a a virtual machine and in within this virtual machine you have your linux terminal which then you can use to install other linux applications so the things you have to consider here are first of all it will take up a fair amount of space from your chromebook so if you don't have a lot of space it will affect you second of all the process does take a little bit of time depending on how fast your chromebook is and how fast your wi-fi is because it has to download a whole bunch of stuff uh, to set that up so uh, keep all of that in mind and uh, Finally, the applications you install will also take up space. So if your Chromebook only has 16 gigabytes, you may not be able to use it for more than just maybe programming using Vim, which is what uh, I'll be using it for. But if you want to install things like GIMP and things like that, you, know, you have to make sure you have enough space. And second of all, you have to be prepared because some of the applications within Linux do not work adequately here on the Chromebook. So don't think that just by turning on Linux, all of a sudden you have magically everything you want within uh, Linux here working perfectly fine. It's not going to happen. So some things will work, some things won't. Then um, as well, keep in mind, this is based on Debian. Uh, Debian is what uh, Google uses for its uh, servers and things like that uh, for now. So uh, basically they use it because it's, uh, fair, uh, it's fairly secure and it's uh, fairly popular. Ubuntu was based on Debian. So they're using Debian right now as their Linux platform, so to speak, uh, outside of Chrome OS. So if you just need to keep that in mind so that if you're uh, planning on installing things, your mindset has to be that you're gonna be installing it from um, the um, uh, programs that Linux allows you within Debian to install applications. So just keep that in mind. So you can install programs that allow you to install applications. You don't have to run everything through the terminal. You can install an application that allows you to graphically choose applications that you can install from Linux. Um, I won't be doing that here because I'll be using Linux uh, strictly for programming purposes, but you can install those things. And in another video, I can show you that. So either way, here, what we have to do is we're going to turn this on, we'll put pause, and then we'll let it install itself so you can basically see what's going to come out. And then um, once you're done with that, all you have to do is go again to uh, here, which was, is uh, GitHub, and then you have Jason Juritic, and then go to JJ-GAS. A GAS, remember, is Google Apps Scripts. And then down here, I have... Uh, a section for programming, which is uh, Debian on the Chromebook. These are the things that I know work. Uh, some things weren't working. Um, I have a Chromebook that has a 32-bit. Didn't like that very much with uh, MongoDB. So uh, keep that in mind that some things will work. And even if you do have, in theory, something that should work, if you have a 32-bit instead of 64-bit type of Chromebook, that's also going to limit the applications that you are going to be able to install on that. So and keeping that in mind, then at least you can install these things, which are for programming purposes, especially for JavaScript and Google Apps Scripts. But if you want to do anything else, it's basically a trial and error. You have to install to see how it's going to work, if you have enough space, if you have 32 or 64-bit, if you have enough RAM, et cetera, et cetera. All those things are going to influence how the Linux apps are going to work on your Chromebook. So for now, we will just turn this on so you guys can get a quick view of what it looks like. And with that, we'll let it go. So uh, we'll click on turn on. It'll say set up Linux better on your Chromebook. We're gonna click on install and it's going to begin installing here. So we're just gonna click on a pause here for the video until this is done installing and we'll come back in a few minutes. 
Okay, so um, the process is finished. Uh, I'm on a pixel book, so I was presupposing it wasn't going to take that long. It took about, eh, let's say about four or five minutes to actually finish off the process. So uh, what comes out here in the end is a Linux terminal uh, as such. So nothing special about it, and you can make it bigger. Uh, I haven't found a way of getting rid of this white bar here, which is sort of uh, not really cool, but at least it's a classical Debian Linux terminal that you can use to install things with. So basically, like I mentioned before, what I usually do is I just uh, grab this so I'm able to program things. And the setup afterwards is going to be exactly the same as we've seen before. So I'm just uh, control C with that guy and come back here. And given the fact this is not a normal terminal, like, well, no, terminal, it is actually a normal terminal, so to speak, in the sense that you can't just do control V, because if I do control V, there's nothing here that happens. So you actually have to do um, right click with uh, two fingers here on the Chromebook, and that allows you to paste this information here. And what I was trying to make reference to was in the Google Cloud platform, when you open up the terminal there, you actually click on control V, and it actually puts the text in. Here, as in normal, uh, terminals, you have to use the two finger right click button to uh, paste the text there. So once that's done, then like I mentioned before, everything is set up here to where you don't have to do any yeses or enters or anything. Everything here is just simply you click on enter like we're doing right now and we'll automatically set up everything that we need in my case scenario, which is for programming. And if your case scenario is that you want to install GIMP, then you just go online and you see what the uh, terminal command is for installing GIMP and you're ready to go. So uh, later on, if I see that there's enough people who want to see how to install certain applications, I'll be more than happy to make videos on that. I don't I don't play around with the video games, so that part I'll, I'll jump over. But if you need to install certain other applications that you're wondering how to do, then in the future I might be able to combine a few of the questions that come popping up and then add another video on that. But essentially what you're installing here is you're updating Anything needs to be updated. Um, probably doesn't need to be updated very much because of the fact that it, just, it was just downloaded right now. But it, what this does is it updates anything and, and everything that needs to be updated and then adds the things I need to uh, work with Vim and Google Apps Scripts and TypeScript and things like that that I need in regards to this. So the advantage here is that I'm able to um, pull from Google Apps Scripts uh, something I'm working on it work here on the Chromebook offline. And then when I get back online, I can push it back up to a Google server. So that, that, that's a pretty cool thing here where you can actually start programming and setting things up that you need for Google Apps Group especially. But any type of programming, um, you can install your IDEs and things like that that you typically would use in Linux if you don't like Vim. And you can work tranquilly uh, here um, on the Chromebook. So that's the awesome thing here is now that uh, Google is opening this up for us and we're able to use different things now and not only the applications that originally came with uh, Google. So now we have Android apps that you can use on a Chromebook. You have Linux apps you can use on a Chromebook and the classical things that Google offers anyway on a Chromebook. But again, I just want to underline that not everything is going to work. You need to pay care and be careful with how much memory, both RAM and ROM, you have to be able to work with the Linux apps. But you can go ahead and start experimenting. And online, there's tons of things that will explain how to install simple applications like GIMP or other things similar to that so that you can work on those. Um, and then if you have any other questions or doubts in relationship to this, I'll be more than happy to help you out. But for right now, and um, we're going to leave it like that because in other videos I've shown how this ends up uh, when the finish is installing everything, you can easily just go into Vim, just like I showed you in the Google Cloud Platform Console, because given the fact this is uh, Debian and what we saw in other previous videos is Debian, it's going to work exactly the same way, which is the major advantage here, is that I'm able to work in the exact same way in form on any of these devices because uh, we're using the same uh, VM instance, which is based on Debian. So it's going to it's going to work the same way. It's going to act the same way. Vim is going to be exactly the same. So we don't have to go through that all over again. So it's just making sure that you guys understand the advantages here and the possibilities that you have in the future with working in Linux on a Chromebook. So if you have any questions or doubts, please leave them under the video and I'll be more than happy to go through them and hopefully respond to some of them if time allows. Thank you very much and take care.